exceptional harvests, abundant crops, fruits, vegetables, and an ancient, thriving peasant culture. In Romania, like nowhere else in Europe, food production and preparation is still a way of life. Welcome to Eat Romania. I've been coming here for 30 years. I love the people, the language, and the delicious fresh food. It's often said that Romania is the crossroads between the East and the West. Right here, it does feel like we're on the edge of the world, where Europe's mightiest river, after its crash through nine countries, arrives and deposits its magic. <laughs> This is the Danube Delta. These men belong to a centuries-old fishing community, the Lipovin. So those poles that you can see, they're stuck down into the bed of the Danube, and then they drag the nets along the bottom to pick up all the fish so they don't miss any. And if you've seen the circling pelicans and seagulls, they so know that any minute now, it's dinner time. We're heading home to get cooking and drinking. Tweeka, the local fruit brandy. It is like drinking a liquid fire. And before you tell me, I know that I'm meant to drink it all in one and I've already made a mistake, but if I did that, the program wouldn't get finished. The soup dance. <laughs> so I have been instructed to get rid of all the scales, my prehistoric pike, stoika, 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 stuka, stuka. Just so you with a picture, we're making borscht. This is a soup which I always sort of just generally thought was Romanian, but I'm told it's come in from the Russian community who arrived here some 200 years ago, the Lipovin, and it is their form of soup, the borscht, and it's absolutely delicious. It's kind of sour, salty, and very, in this instance, fishy. So we're ready to go with the fish now, aren't we? In Chepam Kupishti. Na? Okay. This is a big catfish, and she's explaining to me that you put the biggest bits in first, whoopsie, you so that they cook for the longest. Oh, God, I'm being smoked out here. Ooh. Anyway, we're going to add in that vinegar, so soon it won't just be my eyes that are watering. Basically, you make fish soup, apparently with a small fire, a lot of liquid, and a lot of love. We forgot the vital ingredient. Yonella, in Finnish, how mushrooms? Right, I've heard about this. It is basically a garlic sauce. And she's slightly worryingly putting in, ah, I got her, two spoonfuls. I'm going to be alone tonight. The delicious taste of the Danube Delta. You know they have an expression in Romanian? Nichomasa farapeshti. There is no meal without fish. And after this, I tend to agree. Narok. I've left the Danube Delta and I'm heading into the foothills of the Carpathian Mountains to Muntele Baiului, where winter's beginning to bite. Here, local sheepfolds contend with extreme temperatures and extreme wildlife. Whoa, check it out. Look at these, eh? Kind of chobonesque, I think they're called. I grew up with sheepdogs, but these are an entirely different breed. They are trained to protect, to fight off bears and wolves and look after their sheep. There is nothing like an open fire when it's as cold as it is out there. Buna. I'm with Mihaela Tonica, <laughs> whose family have run this hilltop farm for generations. She's taken me straight to the food. Did you ever manage? Okay, this is a traditional uh, platter. I spy Slanina. If Romanian food could be gendered, I always think this is quite a masculine snack. It is basically smoked pig fat. And they all, by the way, look after their own pigs. Chesti verde ecolo. What's the green stuff in there? Marat. Which is dill in Romanian. Whenever I even smell dill, I think of Romania. Also, bag pepuini, okay, Asha? Pepuini. Arda. This is a cow soft cheese. Now I'm going to break my mum's rules and talk with my mouth full to say, yeah. 
like the deal is out of this world. It's like a, a gusta ca un cum, cum prospeta, no? That gusta de vara. Me absolutely no not. Miael is registered to make all these very special cheeses. It's like a mini cottage industry. She explained to me her family does all this. It's their own factory on the mountainside. The setup is replicated throughout Romania. Individual families making their own local produce. Also worth bearing in mind that Romania is the biggest exporter of sheep in the whole of Europe. And to that I say, Narok. Narok. And now it's off to Bucharest to discover a national speciality. The local papers agree with the New York Times. If you want premium meat, you come here. What are meat? Well, they're like sausages without skins. There's lots of legends attached to them, but all you really need to know is it's pork mixed with beef, mixed with herbs, best cooked outside. So I'm going to go and get queuing, because until you've eaten meat, you haven't really tasted Romania. Bună ziua! Aș vrea trei meat, mușta și o veri. Mulțumesc frumos! Like all the best Romanian food, it's simple, local, and delicious. Naroc, the real alchemy behind Romania's food, is its fusion with the country's vibrant peasant culture. The capital's most famous restaurant, Karakubiri, the beer wagon, is all about that mix. They've gone to get me chef's white so I don't spill pig fat on my posh Romanian costume. No, I've got no clue how to cook Romanian food. But I'm about to find out. Is it correct to say carnat the white? Yes, it's correct to say pleșcoi. Okay, I said, is it okay to call them sheep sausages? And she's like, no, it's correct to call them pleșcoi. Pleșcoi it is. On a menu with plenty pork, there's a Romanian saying, ce mai bună leguma este porcul. They love their meat in Romania, just saying. I once came here with a vegetarian. She didn't fess him. For well over 100 years, Karakuberi has been turning out fine Romanian food. Mircea Nicolae is the grandson of the original owner. Balkani. This is a classic Romanian dish. A big Ottoman hand was over Romania for a long time, and sarmali was one of the benefits. It's minced meat with rice, packaged in cabbage leaves. In Romania, whenever you eat and wherever you eat, it kind of tests really fresh, like it's just been homemade out of some old baba's oven. We're in the centre of the city, this is the most famous restaurant, but this food has a delicious simplicity, it's so good. Narok. Hey, Narok. Wherever you go in Romania, the mountains, the city, the delta, locals hold tight onto their traditions, flavours and culinary secrets. In this fertile land, food is baked into an ancient story of struggle, survival, and love. On the edge of Romania, I'm doing a piece of camera now, all right? <laughs> How is the queen? Uh, the queen, I think she's fine the last time I checked. She's here to ask something about me. Hey, my How is the queen?